Well, those sneaky um, be stars. Let's begin. Now, of course, it's never nice as it going back to your car, seeing a whacking great park and find on your window. I mean, I've only actually experienced it once. And the thing is, though, according to this article, it seems that traffic wardens aren't going to be the only things that we all have to worry about. Because it says that thousands of Brits are being hit by fines for simply parking after being caught by a hidden CCTV car. And that's not all because the tech can spot apparently three offences. So just, what is this? What's going on? This, this says a specifically adapted motor carries cameras programmed to detect three offences which raked in, wait for £300,000 last year. Which, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing could actually pay for quite a few government parties. Oh, sorry, toilet rolls or whatever they say it is for. And more than 10,000 motorists in Reading, Berkshire were stung by the new tech between 2022 and 2023. The council's latest figures, though, show that a white Peugeot, which has number plate recognition cameras built into its roof, generated 10,102 fines in that period. And the data show that the majority of these, a whopping 9,659, were for simply parking on restricted roads, which admittedly, yes, they shouldn't have done. Although, in my opinion, if it's only for a few minutes and it wasn't obstructing anyone, then I don't really see what the problem was. And, you know, I'm not saying they all done that, but I'm guessing some of them might have done. The council designated the stretch as a red route back in 2018, and meaning stopping off for any reason within the operating hours is prohibited. And this was done, apparently, in a bid to improve the efficiency of bus journeys around the town. And a further 329 penalties were issued for drivers who parked at bus stops, which obviously is a bit of a kick in the balls for them, isn't it? But at the end of the day, it's a bus stop, it's in the name, and drivers shouldn't be parking there, should they? Otherwise, you know, they might have a bus up the bell. But there are times as a driver, unfortunately, where you just need to nip over to the side of the road for just one or two minutes. Especially if, you know, something like your car doesn't actually have hands-free and you need to answer an important phone call or make an important phone call. I mean, what if you broke down? Would they also have given you a ticket then for? I'm guessing they probably would have done, eh? But that's not all because it says a further 329 penalties were issued to drivers who parked at bus stops while 114 were handed fines for stopping on a keep clear road markings by a local school. And apparently these are the only three offences that the cameras are programmed to monitor, meaning they can't actually detect issues like mobile phone use or speed. And although obviously if you're parked up, they surely can get you for parking. And who knows how long it will actually be before they will be able to detect things like speed. And even if it is just by one or two miles, because unfortunately going one or two miles an hour over the speed limit, it's actually quite easy to do because you're not actually fixed on the speeder all the time, are you? You're looking out for the road ahead for any kamikaze pedestrians that will actually test your brakes for you, ain't you? I don't think myself it will be too long before they are able to do that. Although admittedly, you know, I could be wrong. That has happened uh, once or twice before in my lifetime anyway. Especially, you know, when I was on a date and app and messaged my current girlfriend. Perhaps I should put in an online complaint, what do you reckon, eh? Either way, though, it does say that those caught out were issued a £70 penalty notice, which can be reduced, apparently, to £35 if paid within 28 days. Though, but I personally look at it the other way round. And it's actually a £35 fine, which can be increased or doubled to £70 if not paid within 21 days, because that's basically it, isn't it, in my opinion, anyway. And it even says that even if we assume that everyone fine took the latter option, that still means the single car earned the council in excess of £350,000 over just a year. I don't know about you, but I'm guessing it won't be too long before they think, hmm, this is quite good, I think I'll buy a few more of those cars and equip them with all those lovely cameras, eh? However, despite the whopping number of fines, the council revealed that the number of offences fell year on year, though to be honest with you, I think these cars are going to make that number increase to a whole new level. Although, you know, I was informed the other day that if you are caught speeding by speeding cameras, those fines actually go to the central government. But if you have to take one of their speed and awareness courses, the council actually gets the money for that. So who knows what actually happens with the park. And I'm guessing, according to this article, actually goes to the council. So I guess, you know, we'll just have to wait and see if council workers suddenly get a big bonus or splash the cash, as they say, in certain areas. The figures show, though, that apparently a drop of around 2,000 compared to the 2021 to 2022 monitor period, where 12,083 penalties were issued. And a spokesman for Reading Council, yeah, let's see what they said. They say a red route was introduced in Reading in 2018 to help keep buses moving on major routes around town and therefore minimise delays for passengers as well as improving safety for pedestrians and cyclists by preventing dangerous or illegal parking. The council's enforcement vehicle plays a key role in deterring illegal parking on the red route as well as on school zigzag markings and at bus stops. But unfortunately, with the school thing, 
it can actually be quite hard, can't it, if you've got a car to pick up your children, because quite a lot of the times the schools close the gates and don't actually let parents in there to pick up the kids. Therefore, they've either got to get there really early so they can secure a spot, or park who knows how long away, just for the one or two minutes it would take for their child to get in the car. But admittedly, yes, I know, that is done for the child's safety, isn't it? But let's face it, if the car isn't moving, then um, they're parked, aren't they? So what could go wrong, eh? 